Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you are. Hello, thank you for watching my videos. It's Mike, it's February 17th, 2009. Today is a day to be watching the Dow Jones. Some miracle is probably going to occur somewhere around about 3 o'clock. Someone will be on television talking about the economy, and there will be a marked jump in the price of the stock market. Now, <coughs> as I mentioned um, on Sunday, I suppose, the um, this is quite likely if there's any kind of huge dip today. Now, what's been happening around the world? Um, well, before we do that, a comical story. Roman Abram Abramovich. i got to learn to say his name. Roman Abramovich. Uh, he basically is this rather, rather, rather wealthy um, chap from Russia. Now, why is he wealthy? Um, a lot of his money is in oil and gas. And, of course, the Russians have quite a bit of that. Now, surprisingly enough, the price of oil seems to be declining dramatically. Uh, definitely compared to gold. Gold shooting through the roof, if we're talking commodities. However, we're not talking commodities. We're talking about him getting knocked off the top of the rich list of football owners. Yes, people, over here in England, it's football. And around the world, in other places, it's football. But in North America, it's soccer. Never mind. Um, yes. Uh, apparently, he's been losing lots of money, and um, he's no longer that rich anymore. However, he's still rich enough, and uh, look who is top now. It's a Saudi. Yes. Carrying right along. Uh, yes, so, um, <clears throat> Japanese finance minister has stepped down. Uh, apparently, people are saying that he was drunk at the G7 meeting. He's blaming it on uh, off-the-shelf medication for a cold he was suffering. Yeah, that's what they usually say when they're like doing the, the drug tests on athletes, dude. Get a better story. Um, yeah, so, um, Japan's economy <clears throat> sinks most since 1974, in case you people missed this. The uh, gross domestic product of Japan dropped uh, over 3% last quarter, which annualized is over 12%. And as I mentioned before, a drop in GDP of more than 10% is technically classified a depression. So, Japan has entered a depression. Uh, America is inches away from depression. And the UK surely is, but they're messing with the figures as they normally do. <clears throat> right, Moody's. Uh, Moody's is a rating agency and has cut Lloyd's rating on HBOS debt fears. Link down there. The stock market did not like this news, uh, amongst other things, and is declining. Now what else is happening? Um, foreign exchange has been doing some rather weird things. I'm going to include a link to um, a blog about what's been happening over in Asia. It would appear that someone, someone, perhaps a sovereign wealth fund, is dumping dollars like crazy. <sighs> okay, so I was off by a week. Shoot me. It's beginning. And here I am sitting in the UK. That's okay. I have plans. I have plans and plans and backup plans. <clears throat> Legal and general rebounds on 650 million pound capital reserve fill-up. And in there it basically says they've done uh, models <clears throat> comparing how this can possibly play out, um, looking at recessions all the way back to the 1930s. Why is Legal and General, an insurance company, checking it has enough cash to handle something as severe as the decline seen during the Great Depression? Work it out, folks. <clears throat> ING pulls out a Formula One sponsorship deal. Now, of course, uh, it doesn't cost that much to be a Formula One sponsor in the grand scheme of things. When we're talking about trillions and trillions of dollars, <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> uh, basically, you can sponsor a Formula One team and all the surrounding nonsense for a couple of hundred million. This is nothing. Why is ING pulling that cash out? Okay, now, when Geithner was yakking away last week, one of the things that was brought up was the fact that they are going to open a website. The website is called Financial Stability. And uh, when this site finally goes live and starts putting stuff up there, you know something brown has struck the oscillating device. <sighs> Today our nation faces the most severe financial crisis since the Great Depression. This is from the United States Treasury, people. Linked over there, fact sheet available on the Financial Stability website. 
When you start seeing more stuff put up there, be very afraid. Gordon Brown yesterday seeks sweeping reforms to the IMF to give them a global surveillance role in the financial markets. Yes, the IMF and the World Bank. What are they part of? They're part of the United Nations. Well, are they? Who owns the IMF? Go check that out, folks. Now, finally, some, uh, some inspiring news. Pirate Bay. Now, the Pirate Bay, if people are out there who have never heard of the Pirate Bay, Pirate Bay is very, is very similar to Google. In that, uh, what they do is they index file sharing sites. They index uh, what are called torrents. Now, a torrent is a, um, a file reference. It's, it's from technology uh, called BitTorrent. And um, essentially what it lets you do is share movies. <clears throat> Amongst other things. Movies and music and all kinds of other things. <coughs> movies, TV shows. TV shows are a good thing to look for on BitTorrent. Uh, now, Pirate Bay is basically an indexing site. Now, they're being taken to court. Um, they're being accused of, uh, of um, <clears throat> illegal activities. It's an indexing site. So, it's essentially a big indexing site with some blogs and comments. You can add comments on there. No, none of the files that are referenced are hosted at the Pirate Bay. This should be a very interesting case to watch. How is the government going to prove? And of course, no matter what the outcome is, someone will appeal, and this won't be resolved for a few years yet. So, okay folks, it's going to be a very exciting day. I'm looking forward to it. I have one more report to do, which is of far greater importance than this nonsense. However, yes, be prepared. There will be swings. Swings and roundabouts, as we say over here. Peace, love, understanding. Pay attention today. And I'll speak to you later.